Welcome along then to Sochi and the Russian Grand Prix, one of eight cities in the world to play host to both the Olympics and a Formula One race. It's a Grand Prix that's proven difficult to crack for anyone beyond the first two rows of the grid in recent years, so let's see if that can change today. Built on the shores of the Black Sea, the Sochi Autodrome is a 3.6 mile tour around some of the venues built for the 2014 Winter Olympic Games. Close barriers may make overtakes more challenging, but with 56% of the lap taken absolutely flat out, we certainly won't be wanting for pure speed. A fitting arena then to do battle at the pinnacle of motorsport. And with me as usual is Anthony Davidson. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Pierre Gasly lines up on pole position with Sebastian Vettel starting alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Norris, Daniel Ricciardo, Iceman, Verstappen, Perez, Kvyat and Valtteri Bottas. OK, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of F1 2020 Career Mode. Today we're in the Russia, Russian Grand Prix, and I feel like we should have been able to qualify a bit higher, but we're still down a bit on power in this in the in this Red Bull. Um, Max Verstappen finished behind us by I think three one hundredths of a second, so we didn't do too bad, but we definitely can do better if we hit the corners properly. Uh, we do have an engine upgrade coming right after this Grand Prix. Hopefully. It's successful, but we'll see. But let's either way, let's go ahead and jump right in. Get a nice sweet launch. Not bad. I will take that. We gotta make sure Leclerc doesn't finish ahead of us. He's really pulling us. He's, I think he's 54 points behind us uh, in the driver's side. That's a strong start. So, well done. We just gotta push hard. Gotta watch that curb. Let's stick with good old Lewis Hamilton here. These long straights. Try to make sure I'm within the RS range when that time comes. Turn in. Losing a lot of time in those corners.
DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. And we are. The car behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. somewhere on the ICE, be aware that we will start to see a loss of power. I gotta say, our engine is very fuel efficient. Run wide there a little bit. Spare energy, use your overtake button. here use overtake use overtake that corner is where I really mess up I wish we got the gun this time. We'll put them a little bit there. And we ran away. Good thing we don't have no damage, I don't think. No. is going to be down slightly, it's showing some minor wear. Okay, we're a little bit too far away from Gasly.
kind of ran wide there, so I got to break a little bit earlier. Man, the second sector is so long. Slap. Sounds good. Standard for a bit. Fuel target is plus one. Faster engine modes are available. Okay, we're pitting. So we can do the undercut. And Gasly, if it's the impossible. We're the first people to only once to pit. Go, go Looks now. like it. Okay, let's go on Rich. We'll have to long pit lane. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. Pull these tires up. is coming in for his stop.
Goddamn Hubert, get out of the way. Five laps of fuel remaining. Let's use overtake and burn some of this energy. There's Gasly. Oh, we're gonna come out at the same time. Oh, that's just ahead of me. A bit too far away for that move. I think that move. There's three laps of fuel remaining. Wow, Gasly, just, just, no, just, you don't see me, do you, eh? What a tool. Yeah, I was probably going a little bit slow in that corner, but not like, it's not so that you can just dive in and do, and go from there. moving to mix two, fuel to mix two.
Shelby's gonna be his best place to attack is that corner. I'm gonna save my overtake for there. on Ocon, they're retiring from the race. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Let's keep this in rich. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. It's our first win with Red Bull, I think, or one of the few. Fantastic. You've won the Grand Prix. Oh, man. What a race. That was tough. The driver of the day. Yes. We pushed through that. We had to, like, push as hard as we can. Good thing our car is very fuel efficient, so we can run rich for most of the, most of the circuit. Another superb Grand Prix comes to an end, and it's a thoroughly deserved victory. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? Fuel efficiency. Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results Danny like those we witnessed today. Tenth. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. Awesome. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams. Yes, we have been trying, sometimes we've been failing. Let's see what effect this result okay, has had good. on the driver's standings. Max Iceman went increases down their spot. championship lead. So, Anthony Davidson, uh, who would you rank as your oh, driver wow. of the day? I have to give you it know. to Iceman. They did a great job at getting the most out of their tyres without losing pace, something that's a very handy skill to have in modern-day Formula 1. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. McLaren continue to increase okay. their gap at the top. It's been an absolutely wild weekend of Formula 1 action. I can't wait to see what's next. So, 76, that's not too bad. Okay. We're, yeah, we're going to be too far away uh, to get the Constructors' Championship for sure. Uh, driver's Hand, we still should be able to win for the next few races. I don't think we have anything too crazy, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Maybe you are both stepping it back up. We're, we're having a good, a good lap. Uh, but if you like this episode, hit the like button below, comment down below, and we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.